Hello and welcome to Moonbooks page one. The title we'll be looking inside today is The Norns by Ira Zanya Moon. The tree stood in the centre, a holiday tree from someone's yard or home. It's hard to remember today, so many years later, so many rituals and gatherings later. It leaned to one side as it was moved into the hall and folks who gathered started to dance around it as the drums played. The night was rainy and dark, or at least my mind remembers it that way. Sound, though not the exact date, the season filled with the death of promises and beings, the world still and unknown. We walked around the space of a community hall, each holding words that wove a trance across time and space and onto the ancestors. I stepped between time at that moment, and in other encounters to come, I don't remember if we'd planned it, or if it just happened, but what I do know is that three humans dropped away and filled their bodies up with the energy of fate. Weave. Measure. Cut. Weave. Measure. Cut. Weave. Measure. Cut. I remember weaving a piece of grey wool between my fingers, again and again, a black line of paint down the middle of my face, obscuring the shape of my lips, hiding me and, at the same time, opening me to the possibility of something unknowable. My lips were black, my eyes met everyone who passed me, but they were not my eyes. Truth be told, I'm not entirely clear when the Norns first came into my life. I have a vague sense, but no shocking vision comes to mind today. It was slow, subtle, and mainly influenced by a coven I used to be in. There were three of us, after all, and in the number three, it was easy to contemplate the muses, the fates, facets of Bridget, and the Norns. It made sense to want to be a part of a group of energies that held each other and who were able to have an impact on the lives of others. If you would like to continue through this book, it is available on our online store. Or alternatively, you can ask your local bookstores to order it in for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for weekly content, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.